is where I get them. And that's how I stuff the truck. About 25 tires. So I leveled everything from that corner and then worked my way to here, leveling everything and turn to that corner and that corner. And so the final check is whether what I did here and over there has the same level. We're a bit around five inches above tire level. And now we go to the other side and the spot will have expanded somewhat. Lasers are not perfect. And so let's see where we are. So there you see it. So I'm at the fourth course. In this course I will install the cooling tubes and you can see that I already dug through the hill on two places to put a cooling tube in. That's doable by hand. One trench fills about 12 tires I think, plus a little bit of backfill. And after this course, you have course number five, and then I will put up insulation. Uh, for the first four feet high and then you build up the hill and you go after that build the next part so this is about two months of work and honestly five six tires a day is what you do because you do backfill too I'm still hauling tires and it's just hot it's cooling down a little bit and the monsoon clouds, they hope too. So to line up a tire on the next course, you use a level. You see that you're plumb, that means level in vertical direction. And then you need to be one and a half inch behind the line of the tire that are below it. So I'm at one inch. So you stagger them backwards, and that's for structural stability, for the holding the dirt back. I think it's just an extra precaution, just the tire is pretty strong. And then what I do is I screw them in. The screws, they don't add strength, but they hold them in place better, and they start pounding. screws, they have flat heads, fairly large flat heads. So once your tires are screwed in in the right place, I put three layers of cardboard. Two or three should be enough. I think three is a bit safer. And then you just throw dirt in. One thing I found was that if you ram pound the rocks too hard, you start to crush them. And so what I do now is I use my pickaxe to prop the tire up while pounding the rocks to the sidewall. And that way you waste less rock and 
also wastes less energy. Sometimes you find that a tire in the corner sags too much on the side. And I'd like to have my tires level. So I put these stones under there. You can see the cardboard is holding up quite nicely. It will be pounded more and then we'll hit reach the other tires too and kind of knit in. Like all of them they knit in. See they bulge out on the bottom. So they can't go left or right or front to front to back really. It's really wrapped around. That's what makes the wall strong. How do you like your new home, Vera? Do you like it? You like your new home? Yeah, wow!